Hello there, welcome back for another, um, this not really minifigures review video, uh, another review video, and uh, this time I'm going to review something very different, alright, as you can see here, this is a very uh, big uh, N, alright, this does look like a uh, tribute, okay, but uh, it's it's called um, Forest Garter, but it's definitely an N uh, by the Tech Creators Company, okay, so uh, firstly this is actually, would like to thank you, uh, you know, Barbier, uh, Barbier actually supplied this uh, for my review. Really, thank you very much. So, uh, just just talk about Barbier. Barbier is actually a uh, online uh, uh, online uh, commercial kind of a, a website where you can actually purchase a lot of different uh, brands of bricks br uh, related stuff. Right. So they actually carry tons of brands. You know, you have Range, you have Winner, um, Kepler, Colors Blocks, basically everything, and also have. Uh, you no know, IP products like uh, Garfield or you know your One Piece, Naruto, and of course they have a lot of uh, the Star Wars, you know, the Lepins, all those. Uh, very good site here. And also, um, if you're thinking this from China, so you're from you know another part of the world, Europe or US, no, have no fear because they do have warehouse, as you can see, uh, warehouse from uh, US warehouse and the Europe warehouse. So you can just actually select those and uh, and and purchase from there. Alright, so basically they cover the entire world. So very good place uh, to actually purchase. And also right now, uh, as of this month, they do have a, a discount. You know, uh, if you purchase up to $50, you get a $5 uh, discount. So it's a very good time to actually pick up all your needs for Legos uh, or brick stuff. Okay, so uh, I do provide, uh, I will provide the link in my description. And also the link to this uh, product if you're interested. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, Bawe. Do check it out. I mean, just go in and see. They do have lots of stuff. And always, like I said, it's the best thing is that they do have warehouse uh, all over the world, from Europe to US, and uh, for Asia, it's covered in, in, in the warehouse in China, right? For Europe, they do have the Europe warehouse. So you don't need to wait forever for your products to arrive. And uh, I do think the shipping is going to be uh, very reasonable, right? Considering it's from those uh, warehouse. Okay. So yeah, let's let's take a look at this. Okay, Forest Garter. Now, uh, when Bawe actually uh, approached me and asked me if I'm interested in, you know, reviewing some of the items that they're selling, uh, this actually caught my eye because you know, I'm not really looking for big buildings or spaceships or anything, but something that can really complement my minifigures collection. And I'm a big fan of Law of the Rings, and I do think this is a very nice uh, end. Okay. Because the end that I have right now, as you can see, of course there are other brands or other MOCs. <coughs> Those are actually very expensive, and this are uh, this is not really that uh, pricey. Okay, hang on. Okay, so just make some adjustment. So this is actually cost about uh, <coughs> about nineteen dollars to twenty dollars. Okay, it's it's very affordable. As you can see here, this is the uh, the end. Uh, from the two tower set if you have the Lego one, but it's definitely not the Lego one, alright? <laughs> so sorry about that. But you can see the difference here, okay? This is definitely shorter, but it's okay. Uh, ends, you have different height, but if you look at the details on the Lego one, this is based on Lego design. Uh, it's actually very plain, okay? But if you look at this, it's actually very detail okay yeah up till the, the feet here you can see all the roots uh, all the everything is just dripping everywhere with leaves everywhere okay so amazing okay uh, firstly just talk about the product itself it's very nice it's individually packed uh, numbered packages so you can actually uh, skim through the instructions and just you know open the pack that you want to build it which is very cool uh, the instructions is also very clear. You can see uh, it actually has the colored uh, highlighted parts which are going to be built in the steps. So very easy to follow. Uh, in exception for the last part here where you have to build the base and also the uh, the light. I think that's a little bit complex. Other than that, the instructions uh, is very good. Okay. Now, uh, brick quality is also fantastic. Uh, but the clutch power, I do think it's uh, extremely strong okay as you can see here right 
so it doesn't fall off oops that's me all right uh, it doesn't fall off okay so but the thing is that it's so strong that um, be careful not to make any mistakes because it, it's kind of hard to you know remove those parts or right, to separate the parts okay so here take a look uh, it does have a gimmick where you actually at the back here uh, you can actually move the arms oops hang on there right uh, I might not be something that everyone's looking for but uh, yeah pretty cool right it, it works very well too okay so you can see uh, you you actually have to spend a lot of times you know uh, constructing these, all these leaves and uh, you know kind of branch around it right it's it's very the whole instructions is filled with all these uh, small parts hang on you just remove it all right you can see uh, a lot of the small details that you have to uh, slowly put in okay and you can see the entire hands it's very poseable all right okay so you can see you can really move the arms See a lot of leaves here and the back here, just tons of all these kind of branches around it, which is very cool, you know. And they have all this. Uh, this is kind of troublesome because it's uh, very uh, hard. That once you try to bend it, it, it does fight, you know, fight against your force, so it does comes off easily. All right. So yeah, it's just so big that it's so hard to show you everything, but I do like the legs a lot. All right, you can see the lake is just filled with branches. Okay. All right, so um, in terms of playability, now uh, for display purposes, playability is okay, although it's sturdy. But um, I do find the design is kind of a little bit flawed. Is in terms of the chest, like you, you can see this huge piece here. All right, this whole leaf here is actually supported by one stud. So if you just kind of move a little bit, uh, the thing actually drops off. Okay, I, I think that's just the only complaint. Other than that, you have a lot of very interesting uh, pieces of parts here. For example, if you look at the eyes, right, you do have your whip as a moustache, right, and then you have a croissant here as a mouth. Okay, you do have the eyes and the uh, banana, brown colored banana as the uh, eyebrow, which is very nice. Okay, so it's really detailed uh, for the price that you're paying, and you do get oh yeah, you do get a race swivel. Okay, so it's very poseable and very sturdy. Okay, um, yeah, you, you can see uh, things don't drop everywhere, so you can use it to reenact. So the size comparison with uh, some of the Lord of the Rings minifigure, I think that's very important. <laughs> oh man, I can't get this whole thing under one screen. But just for fun of it, you can see. Uh, okay, Mary and Pippin. Okay, it's really. I think it's it, it's really in scale. And let me try this. Right, so you see the clutch of the hand. You can actually hold on to uh, the minifigures and uh, you know reenact your scene where they where I picked up. Oops, sorry, the back here is a little bit loose. Uh, this is another problem uh, at the back here because it's just connected by this two piece here for the entire length of this branch. So it's definitely going to come off if you just kind of move it a little bit. Okay, so you can see here. We picked up Marion Pippin, and of course, now I'm trying to see if I could uh, modify it a little bit just to place them on the shoulder, which I think works. You know, they they can actually sit on the shoulder. Hang on, or the head. Oh yeah, yeah, it works. <laughs> right, let me adjust the camera. Okay, there you can see uh, Mary and Pippin riding on uh, Tribute. Okay, so the size-wise is also 
uh, fantastic. Right, definitely fits the minifigure. Uh, if you compare it to the one from the Lego one, I, I you can put him on on top of it, but it's just kind of a, a smaller scale kind of. Right, so very nice. You do have uh, the capability of uh, posing the two hobbits together. That's what I wanted to do. That's why I <laughs> requested for this because I felt that this really can add on to my uh, display for my collection okay like I said I'm more of a minifigure guy and this really fits perfectly so if you're a big fan of Law of the Rings and you're looking for uh, an end or tribute I, I think this is a very affordable one okay so of course here you can also play around with it uh, you know stomping on oops I always now this again, uh, just to declare, uh, declare here, this thing is not as uh, loose as you see. Right, so stomping on, <laughs> yeah, just just really fun uh, figure here to be built. Okay, so again, if you can see, it, it's really really great detail. I uh, really love it. Okay, it's excellent for the price that you're paying. Okay, uh, it does come with a base. I'm gonna show you the base. Okay, you have to assemble the base, and uh, yeah, let me ah, hang on there before I show you the base. Um, just to see the skill um, against all tank. Now, this is definitely uh, way too big for all tank. Okay, <laughs> so you can see here it's almost reaching the top of all tank um, right here. So definitely not in skill with all tank so it doesn't really fit well with all tank well the one from the lego one from the one that came with all tank uh, kind of it's the right size because i remember tribute is just like at the you know the first uh, level of all tank and i think that's the height but again the all tank it's a smaller scale right so it fits with the minifigure definitely fits with the minifigure size but not with all tank okay So okay, so here you have the base. All right. Um, now they do come with a, uh, a light piece here, but somehow it didn't really um, did what it was supposed to do. I think what it's trying to do is that you light it up, and it actually helps to illuminate all these uh, more transparent kind of parts here. Uh, even they give you a, the ground here is all the transparent green color, but it did really work that well. So you don't see the whole thing is like glowing. Uh, even if I try off the lights, hang on. All right, um, you can see it's just this part here. All right, it didn't really glow up the entire piece here. Okay, yeah, but it, it's a good idea, right? But it just didn't really <laughs> execute that well. So you can see here, um, very a, a decent base that they actually provided as well. Uh, of course, you have to build it. Okay, so you have the entire tribute. You can pose it. Uh, I still have my hobbits on top of it. Okay, right. So, um, yeah. Uh, they also comes with the uh, with the name piece Forest Newman Enter. Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, that's why I remove it. It's supposed to be here. Okay. So yeah, that's that's the uh, the end figurine. Uh, okay. Which is which is very cool. Again, this is from uh, I don't know DK or Tech Creators, uh, but still very impressive uh, tree figure here. Okay, again, if you are really interested in this, do do click on the link um, in the description to to access to this product and uh, you know get your own tree beard here. All right, and also do remember just check it out Bowery site. Uh, at Bowery site, it's really lots of stuff. I was amazed by all the products that they're carrying. Uh, definitely, there'll be something that uh, interests you, uh, even if you are collecting minifigures only, uh, like me. This definitely interests me, uh, and I'm glad I picked this up. I, I might try to get another one if um, if I get an idea how to perform some modifications to make another different uh, end, right? So yeah, uh, sorry about the, the camera quality and all because uh, this is kind of a little bit too overskill from my usual review, alright, I've been reviewing just small minifigures, uh, this is a really big one.
okay so there you have it um, I really like this one uh, and uh, it might interest you as well and if you do yeah just click on the link at the bottom and in the d description and uh, get your own and all right so that's the review and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and once again thank you very much for your time and uh, your support and I'll be back again uh, with my next video uh, I have a couple of uh, videos just a bunch of minifigures just arrived so I'm gonna review those soon alright thank you very much uh, see you again soon bye bye now